I'm David from the Drill Hall Library, and these are my top tips for effective searching of the internet. First, know what you're looking for. It sounds simple, but if you don't really know what you're trying to find, you often don't realise when you've found it. So it's worth thinking carefully about what it is exactly that you're trying to find. For instance, if you search for the word turkey, you'll find all sorts of things. But are you talking about the country or the bird? And if you're talking about the country, are you talking about history? Are you talking about current politics? Are you talking about travel? Be specific when you're searching and you'll find things much more readily. Tip number two, think about using alternative words. There are often multiple different words for the same thing, so it's often worth trying another search. If you didn't find quite what you wanted when you searched for adolescents, try searching for teenagers. If you didn't find what you needed when you searched for First World War, try searching for World War One or Great War or all sorts of other things like that. It's always worth trying different words. Tip number three, phrase searches. If you need the words that you search for to appear next to each other, try putting them in the double quotation marks. That will mean that Google will search for them as an exact phrase. Really useful if you're trying to find pages that use a particular quote or um, that uh, tell you the lyrics of a particular song. But also if you're looking for words that mean something different when they're next to each other than they do when they're apart, um, like names of organisations like the National Health Service or all sorts of other things, theories, um, people's names and so on. Tip number four, go beyond the first page. Most of us, when we search the internet, probably only really look at the first few hits that come up on the screen. But if you're doing academic research, it's really worth digging in deeper. The top results will be the most popular, which will often be um, less academic things, uh, commercial things. So it's worth going a little bit deeper um, to find a wider range of information. Tip number five is be prepared to think again. You won't always find what you need straight away. As I mentioned earlier, you might want to change around the words that you search with, but also you might think, OK, how can I focus this search or how can I make it wider? Sometimes um, you might not have quite hit on exactly what you needed to find. So just take a step back and think again about what you might need to do. And finally, tip six, think about what you find. Don't just take everything on face value. Take a look at the types of websites that are coming up. Who wrote them? Who did they write them for? You can verify things like this sometimes by looking at the web address, it can have some very useful information. Uh, a lot of web pages have an about us or contact us page, which can give you quite a lot of information about the people or organisation behind that website. And also, if you're really not sure, try having a look to see what other people say about the people or the organisation that you've found information from. So look them up. Who do people say they are? Do other people trust them? Are other people wary of them? So those are my top tips hopefully useful for you to be able to find what you need for academic information online.